Hey guys, Burning General here, back with another video, and we're at 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you to Mr. Debinet, Debex, yeah, Debex, for being the 100th subscriber, and for the 100th subscriber video, since I know a lot of you guys are CRT enthusiasts, like myself, I'm going to be doing an update on my CRT collection. How fun. I'm clean my lens and we'll get started. First, we have the video I featured, or the, the video. The uh, TV I featured in my last video, the Funai Sylvania. I've been using it. It's been pretty good. But let's dive behind the couch here. And here we go. I guess technically this can be part of the collection. Ultra wide uh, CRT screen. Yes. Anyway, there is a 1978 uh, JCPenney, I believe. Yeah, JCPenney. Black and white TV. Next is my, what I call the Sony Monotron. And it's freaking awesome. It's from 1976. I need to do more videos about that one. It's a really cool TV. Then we have my Gateway Monitor. Generic, but very, very good. Um, I have to text Richard real quick at the same time as I'm recording here. Sorry about this. Okay, anyway. So we have my gateway monitor here. Then we have the HD CRT. Uh, my Toshiba. Doesn't get used very much right now. Just don't really have a use for it. Um, but let's hop up here and get a look at the most, the majority of my collection. So here we have my Toshiba Black Stripe CRT. And we can actually look at the model number of this one. This is a model number CJ300. Okay. And we have my color four and a half inch TMK CRT. I actually have my 89 Emerson uh, wood grain TV. And it's very nice tuners and so it's amazing because tuners are awesome then we have my favorite tv in my collection i would say my zenith uh unknown model number because the sticker's missing from 1976 black and white and it looks perfect it's ah it's got the wood grain it's dusty <laughs> then we have my gold star this is a tv i've had forever now um Next so we have my Emerson from 1984 that has a built-in clock, remote control, everything. This TV's fancy. It even still has the uh, glass pane in front of the screen. Next we have my Sony Trinitron HMD A240R there. And my Pavilion MX70 CRT monitors. Oh. All right. Now let's continue. Next we have my 24, wait, 2048 by 1536 at 75 hertz um, Samsung SyncMaster 997DF, 19 inch monitor, freaking amazing, I need to demagnetize it. No CR CRTs outside at the moment, so I'm going to mute the TV, hoping to maybe someday replace that TV with something cooler. But... Since Samantha's gone, I can show you the street picked Panasonic that she uses. It's 27 inch, also very dusty. And on the back, because this TV is, you know, this is a very highly used TV. Interesting story on that one. I found it on the side of the road right after a rainstorm, like a year or two ago. It's been with me ever since. Next, we have my Sony Trinitron Wega which I can show you the model number of this too, because it's kind of easy to get to. It is a KV-20FS120 from 2005. Okay. Second to last year is a Trinitron. Then, if we look around here, up here, we have my, um, my 13-inch National Electronics M1200 black and white. PVM. And down here, uh, 
somewhere, at least I thought. Yeah, it's it's down there. It's down there, buried. It is my 9-inch Panasonic PVM. Unknown model number, I don't remember it. And then, to complete my collection, we have my three mega monitors here for my wonderful huge workstation that I absolutely love. It's beautiful. And, of course, my black and white 5-inch security camera CRT. Now, this isn't all my CRTs. I have three more in storage. Two compact FS7600 17-inch uh, color, color CRT monitors, one of which is new old stock. And an E-Machines E-View, I think at a 17F3 or something. 17-inch monitor. So, with that being said... That is my CRT collections. Thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Hope to get 100 more and just keep on going with this uh, gravy train of tubes and old computers and motorized bikes. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's to another 200.